everybody welcome back to my channel i'm danielle and this is danielle's books thanks for stopping by this is going to be a long-awaited extreme horror reading vlog i've been wanting to do another one of these ever since i finished the last one and now's the time i read six books in or for this video i've actually already technically finished reading all of them i read maggot girl by otis bateman the scampering by elena drex and aw mason Tapewormen by Judith Sonnet, When I Die by Asher Dark, When the Mockingbird Sings by Stuart Bray and Jason Nicky, and School Reunion by Sam West. I give you all of my thoughts and opinions and ratings for all six of these books. I'll have them all linked down below. Also, this is Kindle Unlimited Edition. So all of these books, as of the time that I'm filming this, recording this and all that good stuff. These are all available on Kindle Unlimited. I didn't do that the last time I did a reading vlog, so I wanted to try and do something different, and I've been really wanting to get good use out of my Kindle Unlimited, so this was the perfect time to do it. If you have any extreme horror recommendations, leave them down in the comments. Like I said, I'll link all of these books in the description box down below. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I would love to have you. I have more extreme horror content planned in the works. I've got a haul video that has been desperately needing to be filmed for months and months and months. And then, of course, I'll do more extreme horror reading vlogs as well. So with all of that out of the way, let's jump in to me reading these books a couple days ago. I should be able to read at work um, because it should be slow enough and also um, I should hopefully be able to finish at least the book that I have started which is well you would have seen it in the clip before this <clears throat> sorry it's um, When the Mockingbird Sings by Stuart Bray and Jason Nicky something like that I'm not totally sure I'll put the cover on the screen but you should have seen the cover in the clip before this too. This book is wild. It's brutal. If you don't like kids in your extreme horror, maybe stay away from this one. Obviously, all of these books will have an endless amount of trigger warnings. So I'm not really gonna, gonna, gonna go into all of those just because I feel like you should assume that there's gonna be some in all of these books. Like I said, I'm 36% of the way into this book, and oh my gosh. Basically, we're following this mobster named Johnny, who is going to pick up a delivery for his boss, and he um, has other ideas of what to do with this delivery, I'll say. Let's, uh, let's also just say he doesn't handle the delivery the right way and now he it looks like the second half of the book he's going to be facing consequences towards what he's done all I'll say is is that it involves kids like I said um, I'm not going to go too much more into that but it's so disgusting he I heard that each author writes like one half and I think Stuart 
what Ray wrote the first half, which is obviously what I'm currently in. I'm only 36% of the way into the book. Um, his writing is just vile. Like, so disgusting. I was very disturbed reading this. Not only because I have children, but just because he really goes there in what he's describing with um, this character and um, children. So, yeah. Very disturbing way to start my day. Let's just put it that way. But I will be finishing this book. I can already tell you that this is not going to be a five-star book. I'm not saying that it's going to be like a one-star book, but it's definitely not going to be a new favorite extreme horror just because I kind of knew like when I was reading Zola by I think it's D.E. McCluskey also I'm going to get a coffee right now um by D.E. McCluskey I kind of knew right away that like that was going to be a new favorite and it was that was a five star extreme horror for me um this one isn't giving me five star vibes so not starting off with a bang, but starting off just gross. It's gross. It's disgusting. It's brutal. It's every word that you could think of. Ugh. I hated, I'm like hating what I'm reading right now, but you know, I'm getting through it. So yeah, I should be able to finish. I probably won't have another update until I'm at work. I'm hoping to get like a tiny clip of me reading or talking at work I'm not totally sure it'll depend on how busy it is if not I can talk to you after work I'll probably be dressed a little different I'm technically still in my pajamas right now so I will talk to you again probably around that all right we have a change of plans I said I was gonna go to work I am NOT going to work anymore so now I have Maverick he's currently in the back and it's like 9 30 so i have an update i finished my first book for the vlog which was when the mockingbird sings i think i'm gonna settle on three stars i think uh going into this i kind of saw that there were definitely a variety of ratings for this one and i think i'm just gonna land right in the middle for this one it's not a new favorite extreme horror it's not the worst one that i've read I think that the first half of the book was a lot more brutal extreme horror and then the second half of the book had more like gross extreme horror in my opinion and um I left off I think at like 37% when I updated this morning um so a lot happened basically I was right the second half of the book was pretty much him Johnny our main guy just getting tortured paying are, you know, getting consequences for, um, you know, the acts that he did in the first half of the book, um, towards children. So, yeah, a lot of things were very gross in the second half, I will say. Just, like, disgusting, disturbing, ugh. Um, so I'm hoping that the next book will be just, like, a totally different, um, type of extreme horror. I think I'm gonna do, um, when they die I don't remember the title of it I'll put it on the screen here since I don't have my kindle with me right now um it's by Asher Dark there's not a ton of ratings for this one so I'm hoping to I was kind of looking for a mixture of some that had more ratings and then some that had not as many so this is one that didn't have as many and I'm really excited to read this one it's another short one I think it's like under 100 pages so I will be starting that maybe even in the library. Mavericks just fell asleep right now. So if he's still asleep while I'm in there, then I will probably just stay in there and I can read on my phone um, through the Kindle app. So I'll probably end up doing that. I've got some holds to pick up, which I can show you in this video, but then I'm doing an entirely separate like library book haul video. So yeah that's the plan I'm excited about these holds and I'm excited to see what else we can find because I haven't really I work at a library if you didn't know and so I don't often just like go to the library anymore just to look around because I'm always working at the library so that's gonna be kind of the plan right now since I'm off and I wanted to get out of the house with the baby so 
yeah, I'll show you the holds and then hopefully I can start this next book in the library. So I'll see you in just a little bit. time for another update i have to kind of make this quick because maverick's about to wake up but i just finished when i die by asher dark and i really liked this one i'm giving this one five stars this one you're following jamie who she's always wanted a best friend she just is yearning for friendship it's basically her and her dad hank and she's been basically abused for most of her life um and so she's just yearning for a companion for friendship and hank has brought someone who she has taken a liking to um him and like some of the other men in this town will bring people back to his house and abuse them and do all sorts of things to them and this one was just a little bit different her name is heather and like i said jamie has taken a liking to her and basically wants her to be her new friend and they do kind of develop a friendship in jamie's eyes and she will do whatever it takes at all costs to keep this friend in her life I think I'm going to keep it to that because this book is literally like 70 pages or something like that. So it's a really short one. But yeah, I like this one a lot more. The ending was crazy. And I think that the ending is what made this five stars. I probably would have given this like a four star, but I thought the ending was great. Um, and I will definitely read more from this author. This is the first uh, book that I've read from Asher Dark. So that's very exciting. Let me look and see what I have planned next. Um, I think that I might be reading, um, what's it called? I'm going to read, um, The Scampering, I think is what it's called, by, let me look at my computer. I have my computer right in front of me. My eyes, like, hurt right now because I've just been staring at the Kindle for so long. Um, let's see here. Yes, The Scampering. Will it show the book cover? By Alana, Elena K. Drex and A.W. Mason. Um, this one here. I think this is another short one, so I should hopefully be able to fly this through this one pretty quick. I've got to get um, my son and feed him, so it'll probably be a little bit before I have another update, but two books down, and it's only, it's about to be two o'clock in the afternoon, so um, yeah, we've still got plenty, plenty of day left, and let me see here, I'm trying to show you, there you go, you can even see the time up here, 1.57, so I will get to reading this one as soon as I finish feeding the baby and hopefully I can have another update for you very soon. Well, it's only a little while, while later and I finished the scampering. I am also, I think I'm going to give this one five stars. I really enjoyed this one. I will never look at squirrels the same ever again. This book was very short. It's like 25 pages or something. Um, so very quick and easy to get through. But oh my god. I will never look at squirrels again. I can't really talk about this one too much. Because it's literally only 25 pages. But basically this woman. I don't even remember her name. But her husband was killed by a squirrel. However long ago. And so basically she hates squirrels. And we'll do whatever it takes to get everyone else to hate squirrels, too. And, um, yeah, the squirrels get their revenge on the women, on the woman, 
we'll just leave it at that because that's really all you need to know. 25 pages of that. So that was a little crazy and um, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. So another five star read, three books down and I'm going to go through my library here and I think the next one that I'm planning to do while the phone is very close to my face. I think I'm going to do um, uh, Maggot Girl by Otis Bateman, I think is going to be the next one that I do. And then it'll probably be a little bit before I have another update just because, um, you know, I got things to do. I've been trying to prioritize reading for most of the day so far, so I got to take a little bit of a break here and get some stuff done around the house because I'm not really listening to any of these on audiobook. Here you go. This will be the next one that I tackle and I should have an update for you a little while later. Okay, you're probably going to hear Maverick over here and maybe reading sprints happening over here, but I'm 40% of the way into Maggot Girl and this book is so gross. It's not even really, like, disturbing yet. I don't know how how the rest of the book is going to go. It's just so gross. Basically, the whole premise of the book so far. My mailman is coming, too. Here, hold on. Here, do this one. Um, basically, the premise of this book has been this girl enjoys putting maggots I guess where you could assume it's an extreme horror book and it's disgusting absolutely disgusting like I'll since this one this example is in the beginning of the book uh, I, I'll just talk about this one because I'm assuming this is literally what the whole book is about it's a very short one too hey what are you doing um she find she's at a meeting and she finds a slice of pizza covered in maggots in the trash can and just you know takes it runs quick to the bathroom and oh my oh my and does her thing now i feel weird talking about this book in front of my son so i'm gonna finish up with it like i said i'm 38 percent of the way through it i'm gonna finish it here soon and this book is just so gross. I'm, I'm reaching my limit here. This is book number four. I really wanted to get to like seven or eight, but we'll see if I have it in me to keep going. Um, I'll still do a few more, but I'm like, I don't know. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll see how the rest of this afternoon goes and this book. Okay, just finished Maggot Girl. Thoughts? I, the story was fine. I had some issues with it. It's not a new favorite. I don't know if I'm going to continue in the Maggot Girl series. The second one is Maggot Girl Episode 2, Snuff Porn Holocaust, is what my Kindle is telling me. I think I'm probably going to rate this one like three and a half, three, three and a half, probably three and a half. Um, one thing that really bugged me about it, this was really gross. That's just like the only, that's the extreme part is that there's just a ton of gross things, especially with maggots, obviously. And um, I didn't like how he, as in the author used other extreme horror authors as like the other characters in the book i don't know why that bugged me so much but it just did like dr triana or detective triana or whatever it was and who else was in here i can't even remember but um i was like i don't know why it just bugged me so much um but this was fine i don't think like i said i'm not sure that i'll uh, continue in the series but um knowing or the ending was crazy 
and um, everything that happened in um, this message is so gross. I just don't even know what other word to say. Just so gross. So on to the next one, I guess. And I think the next one that I'm going to go for, geez, I'm like so glad to be done with that one. A Maggoty Metamorphosis, episode one. That's what I just read. Um, I think that the next one that I'm going to start, I'm going to have to feed my son and everything, is going to be a School Reunion by Sam West. Um, yeah. I haven't read anything by Sam West. Here, let me get you a cover. It's loading on my screen right now. I think that this is another short one too. I'm not totally sure. I had a few different options of Sam West novellas to choose from, but this is the one I ended up going with. So we'll see. The other one that I want to read by her is, I think it's called Fun Fair. I think that's one that I'm very interested in too. I won't read that one in this vlog just because I don't want to read two by the same author in the same vlog, but that can be in the next one. So I think that this will be the next one that I start after I feed the baby and play with him for a while. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break from reading, but I will check in in a little while. All right. It is currently, I thought this was going to show the time, 8.15 and I think I'm going to end well, I'm not going to end the vlog here. I'm just going to say good night to the vlog and I'll end it in the morning. I have a little bit left in School Reunion by Sam West. And I actually have a different one to talk to you about that I finished and read really quick. It was a nice short one. It was called Tapewormin by Judith, Son Judith Sonnet. I can put the cover somewhere on the screen. I like that one a lot. I'll probably give that one four stars. That one was just a quick one. I mean, you can kind of guess from the title what um, it's kind of about. Basically about worms. And I, I don't know what else to say about it. It was like 30 pages long. So it was like super freaking short. Um, but like, you know, worms are places in these people's body and they might take over who knows um so that one i'm gonna give four stars and then school reunion like i said i'm reading now i am like 20 30 percent into it so i'll probably finish it in the morning this one is about this guy jasper black who has decided to um, take six of his former classmates and hold them hostage. And that's kind of where I've left off, but I obviously know that he's gonna probably torture them in some way. Each person has a different reason why they're there. Like one of them was like his love interest back in high school. One of them was the guy that she chose over him one and I can't I actually can't remember what the other ones were but I'll talk about more about that book in the morning when I finish it but I am getting very tired from reading all day and um you know watching the baby so I think that I'm gonna call it a night Zach just got home he's currently feeding Maverick over here Yo. So I'm going to hang out with him for a little bit, but I will catch you in the morning to end the vlog. All right. Hello, everybody. It's technically the next day. It is currently 6.15, 6.14, and I finished the last book for this video. I woke up early. I woke up at five. I just kind of laid in bed and finished School Reunion by Sam West. And I actually really liked this one. I thought that this was a good place to end because it wasn't as, um, like, brutal to read as some of the other ones I did in this vlog. Um, this one, I can't remember what all I said about the book last night. This one, we're following uh, Jasper, who has um, six of his former 
uh, classmates held hostage and he, they wronged him in some way. And so he is exacting his revenge on him. This is more of a, a revenge story. Like I said, it wasn't as brutal as some of the other ones that I read in this, but um, this is a quick read and I really enjoyed it because I kind of like a revenge story just in and of itself. So I think I'm going to settle on four stars for this one as well. Um, it wasn't a perfect five stars, but it's probably like a four, four and a half. I really like this one and I'll definitely read more from Sam West, but that is where I'm going to end this video because I read six extreme horror novellas in 24 hours and I'm done. I'm ready to switch up what I'm reading and do something else. Now, if you enjoy extreme horror, there will definitely be more vlogs like this in the future. And also, I know I teased this in my last vlog, but I have a massive extreme horror book haul to do. I just haven't done it yet because it's like, I don't know, it's like probably like 30 plus books and I'm trying to decide if I want to split it into two or not. I don't know. It's a complicated thing. So you can look out for that. You can look out for another 24 hour vlog. I have plenty of books to read. I'm excited to get all of these ones I just read off of my uh, Kindle Unlimited and then refresh and get some new stuff. So let me know if you like the Kindle Unlimited version because last time I didn't do just Kindle Unlimited books. This one I did. Um, or maybe I'll just try and mix it up. If you have any extreme horror recommendations, please let me know down below. And let's see, let's pick an emoji. Um, you know what? This is a dark video, you know, extreme horror. Let's like brighten it up. I don't know, do like the sun, flowers, something for something that relates to spring. Leave that emoji down below if you made it to the end of this video. Like I said, give me some recommendations if you have them. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!